Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm A. Marie, and this is Makeup Addict Artistry. As you can see, I'm filming in front of my tape today, so I think I really like this. I think I might stick to doing it. If you do like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up because then I'll continue to film in front of this. I like it, and it actually is very soothing with the water behind me, just the noise and everything with the filters and stuff. And then it's hilarious because as I'm doing my makeup, I'm noticing them like poking out on the sides behind me, and you'll see if you like as you watch the video. So if you want to see how I got this chocolate Valentine's Day look, keep watching. As usual, we're going to use Painter Lee by MAC, your paint pot. We're just going to prime our eyes. That's Hannibal over there in the corner. You see him? He's so cute. I really love my tank, guys. The chocolate bag. It's beautiful. And it smells like chocolate. All right, so we're gonna use that white shade to set the base. There he is again. I also have another one. His name's Archimedes. <laughs> he is just peeping. <laughs> now we're going to take that kind of orangey, it's kind of like an orange color, like peachy. We're going to put it all over the crease, so that's the transition shade. Oh my goodness. Did you see that? Okay, so this is from Shani Cosmetics. It's supposed to be a cream eyeliner, but I'm going to use it as a base for this shadow. Um, I don't know the color, but it was in the shade number one. And so it's kind of like a bronzy brownish, like a copper. And so I just kind of wanna, I wanted something really chocolatey and this was the closest thing to it. So when I tested it, I absolutely loved the combination and the color. It, like the color it became. It was just oh, amazing. Next, we will be using this purple shade. And together, these two create this kind of chocolate plum color. And I love it. Like, it doesn't really show exactly the richness on camera, but I mean, you could definitely see the saturation. And we're gonna just go in with this brown, soften up that line. I ended up cleaning this up because it was too harsh for me. I really wanted it to be a lot softer and not such a cut crease. At least with that shade right there and right there. Now I'm going back in with that purple shade again. And then just gonna <laughs> pretty much put back what I took off. But like I said, it's softer. I switched brushes so that way I could just start kind of blending it up. Now we're going to take that dark brown and we're going to just deepen the chocolate. Chocolate. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Definitely drop me a like, please. I would definitely appreciate it. My boys in the back, they like you guys. They keep trying to see 
Well, I'm looking at. All right, I'm gonna take my Mario spray and then I'm gonna just go ahead and make it more pigmented. I love how the powder just sticks to the brush and then just the color payoff is amazing. More softening and blending. Now we're gonna go in with this brown and this is how we're gonna blend it up into the brow bone. So that way there's a nice transition. I was jamming when I was making this. As always, if you didn't catch the first side, you're going to get the second side just in case. The other eye. Going in with that brown. I'm going to use the purple. We're using darker brown. Chocolate. That's the name of my mom's dog. He's a little weenie dog. The cutest thing ever. Blending. Now we're going with the darkest brown shade underneath the eyes. Yeah, man. Now I'm going to go in with my white liner for my waterline. Voluminous. This is my favorite mascara, you guys. I've been using this since it came out. It's by L'Oreal. My goodness. All right, so this is the Mayron Mixing Liquid. And then that was Graftobian Powder in Gold. I'm gonna go ahead and just dip my brush in here and then get it nice and kind of stick all the hairs together so that it's nice and what sharp. I guess that's the word I was looking for. And that gold is just beautiful. 24K90, baby. I love it. Yeah, and it wasn't expensive at all. Um, I'll definitely leave the links in the comments in the description. Not in the comments, in the description box. Sorry, guys. I just love this liner. I definitely want to see what other looks I can do with this. Well, wait till St. Patrick's Day. Green and gold. Oh, yes. Kitty girl. All right, the Hard Candy Liquid Liner. This baby has been with me for years, too. Not like the specific bottle, duh, but you know. Now I'm just gonna kind of really define the bottom of my lash line so that way you can really make the gold pop. I don't want it to be too crazy overpowering so it's not like huge line. We're not doing an Amy Winehouse. Maybe I'll try Amy Winehouse one day. I'll try that liner. If you guys try this out, like definitely tag me. I would love to see you. I would love to see how it looks on you, honey. So after using the black liner, I just really wanted to intensify the gold. So I, I went back over it and made it thicker. <laughs> you know we girls like it thick. Mm. Yeah, baby. Now we're going to highlight. brow bone and then I always love to blend the highlighter down into my shadow so that way it just kind of I don't know obviously goes together but it's lovely so I realized that I wanted it to be a little bit more contour towards my nose so I added some shadow that's those are the eyes. Now we're going to do the face. That's the Smashbox Primer Water. I really like this stuff. Then we're going to use the Stay Matte Primer by Rimmel London. Of course, I'm using a flat foundation brush to apply this.
Mm -hmm. Oh look, there's my sucker fish. His name's Fred. He usually doesn't like to come away from the filter. There's the True Match Lumi foundation. So I really love how this matches my skin, but this is not full coverage, you guys. So as you'll see later on in the video, it's, I don't know, the combination of the concealer. Like the concealer that I use coming up next is wonderful and it works great under my eyes, but for whatever reason, it doesn't want to cover the scars on my face. So I don't know if it's a combo of the foundation with it or what. So I have to play with it a little bit more, but for the most part, I mean, I mainly wanted to make this look for the eyes so that you guys can see as far as the eyes go. And then just kind of like a more dramatic, deeper, darker contour. Um, nothing too crazy, of course, but yeah, just getting my foundation in, nothing new, guys. So that's the Master Conceal. I think that is by Maybelline. So before, <laughs> so I feel like it covers up well at first. Then, I don't know, after this all kind of goes downhill. love having this fish tank. It kind of makes me feel like I'm at the aquarium. These fish are big. I don't know if you guys can tell how big this tank is. Maybe I'll end up um, showing you guys one day. Concealer. I really do like this concealer under my eyes. I just don't know what happened with the rest of my face. <laughs> I didn't set it down to the left and right. That makes sense. Sorry guys, I was in a rush. I don't know what's going on here. But the NYX Wonder Stick. Beautiful. I like that this is not too crazy dark. And it's super blendable. So doing that, putting some of the contour under your lip makes your bottom lip look bigger. So once you blend it out, it kind of just looks like you have a big, fat, juicy bottom lip, baby. That is the BH Cosmetics brush. I think that was the 138. And then just blend it all in. I love it. And you guys, I'm so secure in my skin. Even if, even if I wore that out like that, I wouldn't really care. It's fine. Go ahead, stare. That's cool. My chin, my jaw. And my forehead. So I attached it and then smoothed it out, blended it together. <laughs> he is forever peeping in that corner. He's beautiful though. And there goes that bottom lip, baby. Mm -hmm. All right. So now this is an Emacs brush. Um, there wasn't really a number, but I'm going to just buff in that powder underneath my eyes. I really love how this blends out with that brush. And then the True Match N7 powder. Just set my face. Mm 
my Studio Fix Powder in W58. I'm gonna contour it. I need to get some more MAC. Did any of you guys get the Mariah Carey? <laughs> I'm so sad I didn't get any. The packaging was to die for. The contour still looks amazing. All right, so this is a little Ulta palette. So um, like I said, my friend Danielle had got this for me and um, that was the color Gilded. I'm gonna just blend it in. This is a Carly Bible palette. I'm gonna highlight with that shade. I really like that light shade. And once again, in her palette, the formula is amazing. These highlighters are so pigmented. Love it. Oh. Clean it up. There we go. There we go. And there's the little ball on the nose. Highlight my cupid's bow. That's my favorite thing to do, I swear. Set with my Mario spray. This stuff smells really, really good. And I think it was only like $7. Definitely worth the buy. I'm going to take Mink. This is also from Ulta. It's a dual eyeliner but I'm using it for lip liner. I feel like my bottom lip does look pretty big. I love it. I really wanna wear some lipstick like this, with like just a stripe down the bottom lip. I'll play with some and see what I come up with. All right, so now this is the NYX Liquid Suede. It's called Club Hopper. So this is the chocolate. Oh my goodness. When I tried this on, that's all I could think of is just chocolate. I just, I felt like my lips would melt in the sun. Absolutely gorgeous. And then just the way they feel, your lips feel so good after this formula dries. I'm sorry, I didn't realize like I covered my lips. My bad. But yeah, super easy to apply. Super, super pigmented. I mean, I literally just used one coat. Absolutely gorgeous. This is the finished look. I definitely love it. I wore it to work the other day and all the girls were like, oh my gosh, I love it. So I was like, girl, mm, I loved it too. So I'm trying to do a video on it. <laughs> well, um, I definitely hope you enjoyed this video and I I'm so thankful that you guys stuck around to watch. Um, I appreciate every single one of you guys as a subscriber. If you're a subscriber, you know I'm very, very thankful for you supporting me and being with me as I've started my journey here on YouTube, of course. Um, and if you're a newbie, hey, welcome. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, boo, because I want to see some more of you. Well, I definitely do appreciate you taking time out of your day to come and see me. I love you guys. So, enjoy your Valentine's Day.